Now, the first way you can improve your stamina and cardio for boxing so you can last longer in the ring or in the gym is actually by boxing. You may be thinking, yeah, well, that's obvious, but what other things can I do to improve this? You know, but people don't even think about this. People are always looking for the next quick thing to help them improve their, their cardio and stamina, like a TRX or a cross trainer machine or an air bike. And then things are great and they've got a lot of benefits to them, but to improve your overall cardio and stamina, we need to box more. We need to measure our boxer. I'm going to tell you in a minute exactly how you can measure your boxing when you're hitting a heavy bag to be able to see your improvements over time. But first, I just want to do a quick introduction. My name is Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic bronze medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing, how to punch harder, how to punch faster, how to get better footwork, things to really help improve you at boxing. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a great video like this one. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to give you something that you can add into your boxing sessions every single time you box. That will really help improve your overall conditioning in boxing. This is the thing that I used to do in every one of my professional boxing training sessions that you can do too and it will really skyrocket your performance. So hang around till the end for that one. What we want and what we're aiming for, ultimately we want to finish the last minute of the last round as hard and as fast and as good as the first minute of the first round and that right there will see measure your your overall performance and your fitness and what i want you to do over time is increase the rounds of your boxing and then increase the time of your rounds and also decrease the time of your rest example if you're starting off four two minute rounds on a heavy bag with a one minute rest is great especially if you can get the point of uh, finishing the last round as hard and as fast as you start the first round now you will still be tired you will get tired doing this but once you can do that and then we can increase the rounds so we've done four two minutes with a one minute rest then we go to five two minutes one minute rest six twos seven twos, eight twos, and that's what you wanna to get to. Get to eight two minute rounds with a one minute rest at a great pace where you're not losing form and technique and not being sloppy in the end. Then once you get to, to that, then what we can start to do is we can start to increase the round time. So now we go to four three minute rounds with a one minute rest, then five threes, then six threes, then seven threes, then up to eight three minute rounds with a one minute rest. Now this, as you can see there, that's a lot of sessions. It's gonna take time. Building your stamina and building your conditioning for boxing does take time. It's not an overnight thing. Then once you get the eight three minute rounds with a one minute rest, then we can start to decrease the rest time. Then we can go to four three minute rounds with a 30 second rest. Now this is going to be difficult. And then from there, we can start to slowly increase the round. So four threes with a 30 second rest, five threes, six threes, seven threes, all the way to eight three minute rounds with a 30 second rest. Now, once you can do that and you start and you're finishing the round the same as you start the round, now we know that you're in great shape. And now this applies for mitt work, applies for sparring, applies for everything else, you know. Eight three minute rounds is a great indicator of your fitness. Now I'm purely talking about eight three minute rounds on the heavy bag. This is after you've done your warm up, jump rope or whatever else you do at the beginning. But this right here will increase your boxing, cardio, and your overall stamina. Now moving on to number two is running. Yes, good old road work. If you have seen the Rocky movies, which I'm sure you have, which you, if you haven't, you need to watch them. You'll see Rocky Balboa getting up, doing his runs. Yeah, I know it's fiction, but there's a reason why he showed that. Because that is what boxers do to increase their stamina and their cardio. We run. Now there's a few different types of runs that you can do. There's the long distance run, there's a far leg run, there's sprints, there's hill sprints, there's steps. There's a bunch of different things that you can do. But what I would encourage you to do is try and mix it up. Run as well as your boxing. So Example, if you are boxing three times a week, try and get two runs in a week as well, or even three runs. Now, them runs can vary. You can do a long distance run, three to five miles, steady state run. Then you can do another run can be a far leg run, where it might be a 20 minute run, where you're sprinting and recovering and resting. So what I used to do was lampposts, you know, the lampposts on the streets. I would sprint to one, 
jog to another sprint to one jog to another one it's a it's a really tough uh, tough run for like running you can do you know you've got your, your sprints where you know you you might be doing a hundred meters dash where you'll be there you'll do a hundred percent you'll recover for a minute run back a hundred percent recover for a minute and then doing six to eight of these sprints is really good as well it's going to really open up your lungs and really help increase your cardio and overall stamina i'm also going to do a full video on an olympic boxing run and a sustained run that we used to do training for the beijing games which is a a killer so make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss that one because that video is going to come soon as well then let's move on to number three how do you increase your stamina and your cardio well you're going this is going to really really surprise you and it is rest and recover if you're training like a madman you're doing an hour every morning an hour every night and you're not giving your body time to recover you're not going to be able to improve your overall stamina now it doesn't sound right right because you're like oh, well i'm working hard i'm doing this but think about it this way if you're going into the gym and your body is not recovered from the session before because you did the session yesterday but then after that you went out to the supermarket you went and had a game of football with your friends you went and played basketball with your mates you were messing around and your body's not got that chance to rest and recover. Now, the next day you go to the gym, you're still going to be a little bit tired. So you're not going to be able to put that work in when you're on the heavy bag, trying to do your eight, three minute rounds because you're, you're tired. But if you had that rest and recover, the next time you're in the gym, you're going to be able to do more work. And like I said, in tip number one, the more work that you can do in the gym, the better you're going to be. If you rest, recover and you're sharp, you're going to the gym sharp, you're going to be able to do more. If not, you know, you're not. Now, how do you rest and recover? Well, you can kind of blend them into one because obviously resting where you're not going out playing basketball or football or doing these other crazy things when you're trying to improve your boxing, but you can do things for recovery as well. I'm going to do a full video on my best ways to recover, but some things you can do is definitely by stretching after the session, making sure you warm up before the session. That is going to help you throughout the session and going to help you recover better. You can do things like massage, ice baths, saunas, if, if you've got access to them to help with your recovery as well. But, but stretching is, is definitely a, a big one for you and trying to stay loose and flexible. And another huge thing you can do, probably the best thing you can do for your rest and recovery is sleep. Get a good night's sleep. When you're sleeping, all of your muscles are repairing. Even the cells inside your brain is also repairing as well, regenerating. So if you can get a good night's sleep, deep sleep, good REM sleep, you know, it's going to really help improve that. And my wife has done a video giving you 10 tips to sleep better on her YouTube channel. You can click the link below after this and get these tips that you can do to really sleep better. Now, moving on to number four is going to surprise you, which is nutrition. What? How can my nutrition help me with my stamina and cardio? That's what you might be thinking. Well, think about it. If you are putting the right fuel into your body before training and after training, it's another thing that's going to help with your recovery is your nutrition. You're going to do more in the gym. You're going to be able to last longer when you're blasting that heavy bag. You're going to, and the longer you last when you're doing that, the fitter you're going to get. And if you think about a car, a car can't drive on no gas, no petrol. We need the energy in your body to be able to move and move forward. But not just any old crap, you need the right foods and the right nutrition and the right things in your body that will help you perform better. Now, how I like to think about the nutrition is kind of like a snowball effect. Now, my good friend Aubrey Marcus wrote a book called Own the Day, Own Your Life. And one big thing that I took from his book is the little things that you do throughout the day all add up to make a big difference. And an example is if you have for breakfast some cornflakes with lots of sugar on and, and, and you're not hydrated, when it's time for you to come to the gym, you might be tired and, and lethargic and thinking, oh, I can't be bothered to go to the gym today. I haven't got the energy to do this. And then you go to the gym and your session's not as good because the nutrition in your body wasn't as good. Or you might not even go to the gym because you don't feel Feel like it now let's twist that around let's just say you have some eggs and avocado and some bacon for your breakfast and from there you've got the energy you've got the good fats you've got the good proteins in your body and when it's coming time to go to the gym yeah i feel good i can't wait to go to the gym you go to the gym you're 
perform better. And because you've worked out good and worked out hard, now you go to bed that night, you sleep better, which is great for your recovery as well. So now you're sleeping better. That one small decision in your life made a big difference. Now that's gonna roll on and your overall fitness and health is gonna improve. And that's another thing I wanna mention there. This is gonna help your health. Eating good will help your health. And now I'm not an expert in the nutrition field. There's so much good content out there that you can find about nutrition. But what I do know is that if you're eating good, eating clean, eating the right foods, the right fats, the right carbohydrates, the right proteins, when you should be, your training will be overall a lot better, which will improve your stamina. And also hydration is key. Always stay hydrated. If you go into the toilet and your pee is not clear, you're not hydrated as much as you should be. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you what I think you should be doing at the start of every single training session that I did when I was a professional boxer that really helped increase my stamina and overall boxing performance. But before I do, I want to tell you about this because this is another thing that will help your performance and your endurance. This is Shroom Tech from Onnit. And what they're doing for all my subscribers is giving you a seven day free trial. If you click the link below, get seven days of this Shroom Tech supplement. It's great. And when I take this, I feel a big difference. This really helps battle with fatigue like no other supplement that I've ever took. It's designed to help the body with cellular energy. It boosts exercise volume and it really does assist with your aerobic performance. It's made out of some fantastic ingredients and take this one time when you before your training session and you will see a difference. It's certified drug free. You would think it was illegal because of the way that you feel, but it's not, it's great. Click the link below, get seven days for free. And like I said, you can thank me later for this. Okay, now I'm going to tell you something think that you can do at the start of every session what I did that really did take me to the next level and that is how my work my workout was structured how do you structure your workout do you go in do you loosen your arms start hitting the heavy bag or have you got a great structure well the structure that I used was I would go in I would do a 10 to 15 minute warm up warming up my full body my legs my thighs my core my shoulders my neck my arms everything I was warming everything up. Then from there, I would get the jump rope and I would do four three minute rounds with 30 second rest in between, but I wouldn't use the rest. I would just go all the way through. So I was doing around 14 minutes of jump rope non-stop. After the jump rope, I would do four three minute rounds of shadow boxing with 30 second rest in between. Now the warm up, the jump rope and the shadow boxing was before every single session and then from there i would do my heavy bag work me sparring me mitt work whatever else i would do after that but that right there is giving you the fundamental fitness that you need to you know really go to the next level and the, the fitter you are the more you can do the more you can do the better you're going to get at boxing now that right there is, is hard that right there in itself can be a workout for some people depending on your fitness level so you can start off you know lighter you can do your 10 minute warm-up which you should be doing anyway and then you can go into four two minute rounds of jump rope with a minute rest in between if you need it then from there you can go into your four two minute rounds of shadow boxing uh, with your minute rest in between as well and obviously like i said earlier on with a heavy bag stuff you can slowly increase the time of the rounds and decrease the rest time but once you can get that at the start of every session your energy and your fitness will really skyrocket to the next level you need to click here next watch this video next now you know what you're going to do for your stamina watch this for your technique